this is me and today I'm going to be making a YouTube video about me making TikTok videos. So um, I've been on TikTok for a while but just haven't really posted many videos. Um, so it was really kind of last summer I started posting the odd video every now and again just because quite a few people started making fake accounts pretending to be myself so I was like I should probably post a few videos just so people know that this is my actual account. Um, so the account that I had was actually used to be a Musical.ly account so I still have the at this underscore Esme kind of handle which is pretty useful. Um, so when I was making the odd videos um, since last summer it really took me back in the day when I was in year 7 so when I was about 11 I used to make loads of videos on Video Star. so I've been making videos for quite a while now obviously those Video Star videos were never seen by any of my friends or anything like that they were way too embarrassing they weren't of me though I never did like the whole singing to the camera thing like that's just not me I actually filmed videos of me making edits with my guinea pigs in um, but anyway um, so I was making videos found them quite fun and it was really back in October I'd say that the sort of TikTok addiction kind of started because since we've had quarantine and everything lots of people have been staying at home and what have you been doing we've been staying at home watching TikTok videos has kind of just taken over the internet recently um, I definitely have spent a few hours scrolling through <laughs> laughing at videos um, so yeah it was back in October where I was spending a lot of time at airports waiting for my flights that I kind of stumbled across TikTok and actually started watching the videos on my For You page so um, I'm not going to be doing any dancing I'm not going to be throwing it back or um, I'm definitely not a Charlie and D'Amelio when it comes to TikTok um, I'm an equestrian channel so I thought it'd be funny have a bit of fun a bit of a laugh to take you guys behind the scenes of me making some TikTok videos. I wouldn't really classify myself as a TikToker, I'm definitely a YouTuber first and foremost. Um, that's what I enjoy making the most, but you know what? Thought it'd be some fun, take you behind the scenes. I have a few um, fun ideas that might take quite a while to film, so I thought, you know what? Take you guys with me. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my bucket hat and <laughs> my glasses. And let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I've got an idea for my first TikTok that I'm gonna be making in this video. So basically, <laughs> um, because of copyright issues with YouTube, that's the one thing about TikTok which is really easy. You don't have to worry about copyright, you don't have to worry about all the fancy equipment or making a long video interesting because it's only 60 seconds. YouTube made me make kind of makes me realize how much effort I have to put into my YouTube videos now. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the first video, um, Basically, I, when I'm scrolling through TikTok, I listen to audios and kind of think, how can I relate this to horses? So there's one and it's like different um, colors and it's like, I can be red, I can be yellow. And basically, first thing that came to my mind, obviously, was saddle pads. And I've got to say, TikTok makes me feel a lot better about my saddle pad collection, because there are some of you guys out there and your collections are like twice the size of mine. So I would say good on you, but I don't want to spur on the addiction, so, um, Let's just say, I'm happy that you make me feel less bad about myself. Um, so yeah, with the copyright issue with today's video, um, I am going to be embarrassing myself even more for you guys because I'm not going to be able to use the audio. So I am going to be singing with my beautiful singing voice <laughs> for the background of the videos today. Um, so yeah, for this video that has lots of different colours, we're going to... Um, dive in to my tack room here and um, you guys are gonna see the peak of my addiction at the moment of my saddle pads and we're gonna use that for the video so uh, come on in guys okay so on this episode of this is me exposed we are exposing my addiction of saddle pads um, so for the colors I think I know them in order as well like I have this ingrained into my brain so at the end of this video if you want to go and check out a few of my TikTok videos to actually like listen to what the actual audio sounds like rather than my singing voice feel free to do that um, so the first color is red I'm pretty sure um, so well, I was going to say, I don't have a red saddle pad. I do. Uh, I'm probably just going for this red dressage one. So here we go. Because, like, I have, I don't have a Lumia red one, but I have, like, a burgundy berry colour. Um, so, but this red will be fine. So, I can be red. I can be, I think it's yellow next. So, I'm going to go for citron. There we go. Oh, that's a dressage one as well. Should I go for the... <laughs> Should I go for the CC? 
<laughs> this was gifted by the way don't worry <laughs> i haven't bought all of these myself if not i would be bankrupt so i can be red i can be yellow i can be blue oh we're gonna go for benetton baby here we go oh should i what sort of blue i think that blue yeah that'll be fine these are like the primary colors okay i can be red i can be yellow i can be blue i can be purple i think it's purple next yeah i'm pretty sure it's purple <laughs> um we'll go for oh, which purple should i go this is quite this is like definitely a purple purple there we go that's quite dark purple but you know what it'll be fine purple i can be I'm gonna have to play the song. <laughs> Me being like, I can, I've got it all ingrained in my brain. I literally just recited it before turn the cameras on, but you know me, getting embarrassed, don't even know TikTok song. Actually, that's pretty quite good. It shows that um, it's not ingrained in my brain as much as I thought it was. Let's go on the sounds. The colors, where are the colors one? Should have trusted myself. I knew it was green. So the next color is green. Let's go for lime. It can be green or pink. Which pink should I use? Let's go for blush. <laughs> I could be green or pink or black. I'm pretty sure it's next. Uh, I think I'm, I used that last. It's a bit dirty. Oh no, saddle, don't, don't, don't fall off now. Okay, I've got black. Um, this, this one I use most for schooling because it doesn't matter if it gets dirty. Um, black or white. Uh, which white saddle pad should I go for? I could go for one of my sponsor ones. Uh, we'll, we'll go for whatever this one is. This is my baby's one. Cool. I think we have all the saddle pads and the embarrassing thing is this isn't like even a third or even a quarter of the saddle pads I own and it's too many to even fit in a TikTok. So I'm going to walk out of this tack room in shame and um, get these ready to film. <laughs> So I've now got Mickey here to help me film this TikTok. So I was thinking of putting it on my saddle, but um, at the moment my dressage saddle is currently being like made. And the few of the saddle pads that I was gonna use are dressage ones to be able to have all the colors for the video. So I thought, you know what? It'd be funny if we put it on Mickey instead. So Mickey here, if you didn't know, he's retired. So he hasn't been ridden for a while. So um, it's been a long time since he's last had a saddle pad on him. But I thought, you know what? It'll be quite funny with him like maybe covered in saddle pads. There's like that like viral photo on Instagram where somebody has like all of their rainbow saddle pads along their horse. Pretty sure um, Hannah Lucy did something similar where she like stacked up all of her saddle pads on her horse. Obviously there aren't like thousands that I'm gonna be putting on Mickey's back and gonna make sure that it's not too heavy for him. Yeah, so I thought that might be quite funny or I don't know if I'll just swap them out. We'll see, we'll see what it looks like, see how I feel. But yeah, we need to get him clean first because he is absolutely filthy. He has a poo stain on his bottom. He's covered in mud. So, gotta get you TikTok ready, hey? Yeah? Yeah? So now Mickey is looking a little bit cleaner. He's still not 100% clean, but you know what? It's the best that I can do for the moment without giving him like a complete full bath. Um, so we're just gonna roll with it. So the first color saddle pad I need to put on is red. Um, but I was thinking like, where am I gonna put it? Like you, before I film, I need to have a little bit of an idea of what I'm gonna do. So I could either put it just like on top of him and then layer up the saddle pads but the problem I have with that is all of my saddle pads are sort of different shapes and sizes so I thought that would work better if it was just one shape saddle pad um, but because I'm using dressage saddle pads and um, CC or jumping sh shape saddle pads I feel like that won't work as well so what I might do if Mickey does actually stand still he is having a bit of a scratch at the moment um, but I was thinking of putting the saddle pads all along him and kind of making a rainbow but we'll see how it goes we'll see what he thinks Mickey, Mickey, oh my gosh, do you need a scratch? Get it out your system now, mate. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Okay, so I've now got my phone, I've got my red saddle pad. I'm just deciding if I start at the top and go down or if I start at the bottom and go up. But anyway, I need to find the original sound for this. If you want to know what it's called, it's called 
just colours without the U though, the American way, which is kind of sad. Oh, don't start, don't start singing at me now, gal. I need to, I need to be ready. Okay, so I don't, I think I might start Mickey without any of the colours, and then as soon as it says the word red, I'll kind of like put the red saddle pad on. I'm gonna use this little nugget of poo as where I'm gonna stand because I don't have a tripod yet. Um, so, well I do, but not for a phone, for an actual camera. So I'm gonna be a human tripod today. Um, I feel like it might be a little bit funny if it like moves around a little bit, which will be fun. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna stand here. It's kind of, it's kind of, <laughs> kind of sad because you can see the sweat marks and the saddle pad obviously hasn't been washed since I last used it, but you know what, it's fine. So I'm gonna start off. I could be red. Okay, just, I stopped it literally as it said red. So I need to quickly put it on with you now. Yeah, putting this on you. I could be yellow. Okay, yellow, quick, go, go, go. You actually look so cute. We've got Burrito Mickey is back, guys. Okay, there we go. Run back. I can be blue. Okay, blue. Oh, no, don't move, don't, don't, no, he's going for a scratch. Mickey, no, you've got to, you've got to be a good TikTok horse. <laughs> he's standing so strangely. I can be purple. Okay, purple. Oh, it's in here, quick. <laughs> I'm worried we're gonna run out of Mickey. I can be green. Green. This actually looks so cool. Okay, there we go. Green, we've got you, boy. I can be pink and black and white. Oh no, it's so fast, the song. Green or. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this suit. Okay, I'm gonna put it into three times speed so then um, I can actually do it on the beat. If not, it's gonna be way too fast for me. Pink. Let's go. <laughs> this colour looks so pretty on you, Mix. Yeah. Have you got a fly? No, no, no. Do not move. Do not move. Be a good boy. This is why I chose Mickey because I think he'll actually stand the most still. Mickey, no, don't. Mickey, don't scratch. Mickey. Mickey. Mickey, look. Okay, black. If Mickey shakes now, it's all over. It's game over, bro. White, next. Okay, so I've decided to go for a dressage pad to finish it off, because we start with dressage and end with dressage, so I feel like that would work quite well. If I put that there. Oh, Mix, you look cute. Okay, last one. Okay, we've got white, and then it's, I can be any curly you like. So now I'm gonna do like a little pan going down Mickey. You need a cute face at the end, Mick. Yeah, cute. Oh, we could do a little boop at the end, that'd be cute, okay. Here, I'm pretty much just shouting, Mickey, 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 to try and get his attention. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch this through. I don't know why I'm keeping this part in the video, but here I'm pretty much singing and dancing to the song and basically being a complete embarrassment. <laughs> he does look cute at the end, but I think I might do that one more time, that last little every curly you like, just to get it really slick. And then for the like, I'm gonna do like a really cute under the nose shot of Mickey. Okay, stay there. Yay, we got it. Okay guys, we now have it. So here is the big reveal of the video with my glorious singing. <laughs> I can be red, I can be yellow, I can be blue, I can be purple, I can be green and pink, black and white, I can be any color you like. Okay everybody, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, I think Mickey did so well for that. I was so worried that like halfway through he would shake and then all the saddle pads would go onto the dirty ground, get dusty and grimy, and then they wouldn't be in the same place as last time, but actually ended up looking pretty good. So that's our first TikTok complete. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to watch the actual video then um, after this, be sure to head over to TikTok and actually see it. Hope you enjoyed my singing voice as well. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway. Um, so now that's done um, also a little top tip of how I managed to get it exactly on the beat if you put it on three times for the speed it does it actually in slow motion so you're able to um, get it really on the beat especially when it's really quick when it did the like I think it was the um, green and pink and white or green and pink and black and white that last bit was so fast and I wouldn't have been able to do it without three times speed um, that's how I managed to do one of my TikToks where um, I all of the helmets were changing on the beat that I did which was pretty cool so I think it's now time to let this boy out into the field give him a treat because you were so good well done Mickey Mwah. 
Okay, everybody, the next video I'm going to be doing is um, the audio kind of goes um, sometimes it's going to be her, sometimes it's going to be her, and sometimes it's going to be her. And I'm pretty sure that repeats five times. So I know a lot of people use this audio on TikToks for showing off their styles. So some people um, go for more sort of dark colours, some people go for like a skater look, some people go for more like cottage core aka like pastels and floral like basically you people use it for their different aesthetics that they like to kind of um show their styles off with um for me i thought to know you know make it all horsey i thought i'd do a bit with me with different disciplines so sometimes i want to be a show jumper sometimes i want to be a venter sometimes i want to be a dressage rider because they're like kind of the main three english disciplines that are like in the olympics and things i thought i would do that i've had a little go at all three of them before um i do have like a few kind of show out bits I think I could put together um so yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> okay so here is my first outfit for my first outfit I'm show jumper um so I thought I would add the sunglasses I don't know if this is just me but I feel like at show jumping shows there's always somebody that has sunglasses on their head I also have my helmet I decided to go for the most blingy one this one has little kind of diamonds or crystals along the side because you know show jumpers are stereotypically known for their bling obviously not all of them um, I've also gone for the wide peak. I feel like that's definitely more of a show jumper kind of look. Um, so yeah, I've just got like a basic show shirt on. I didn't think of putting my jacket on because I know that show jumping shows are a little bit more relaxed kind of compared to um, dressage. So um, I thought I'd just wear like a show top, white breeches, nice and easy. So yeah, time to film it. Okay, so the next discipline I've decided to do is a venter. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very tempted. Um, I have done quite a bit of cross country back in the day, do really enjoy it. Feels like it's been a while since I've worn my body protector though. Um, so yeah, number two is a venter. Usually like I would wear my hair in a hairnet, um, but because if I put it in a low ponytail around the back, nobody's gonna see that. It's all good. So yeah, let's film. <laughs> Okay, number three. How do I look? Do I look dressage -y, Maybe? I don't know. I've tried my best with what I have. Obviously, I don't have the stock. I don't have like a proper dressage kind of show jacket, you know, with the tail and everything. Um, but this will do. I've got my white gloves on. I've got sort of a more plain, traditional helmet, I feel like um, is more kind of dressage. Obviously, you know, there are people out there that do like the bling dressage, but I thought I'd go for the sort of neutral professional look we'll see how that goes um i do actually really enjoy the odd bit of flat work i've done dressage tests in the past it's never like a discipline that i've ever like completely dedicated to just because i love my jumping so um i thought i'd add this in there because i do really enjoy flat work i'm finding it so satisfying as well with baby joey seeing him improve and things so it'd be quite nice to maybe enter a few dressage tests when we first start competing just to let you know he hasn't been to many kind of parties before so um going somewhere with lots of horses somewhere you I feel like dressage might be a good place to sort of dip our toe into competing all right and then for number four we have the barn potato so basically this is the attire that I wear most days almost every single day um, it consists of a messy bun a really old worn hoodie that's been in the washing machine multiple times it even has a stain on here from Mickey where he's probably licked me um, and then I just have some leggings on so yeah, I feel like we can all relate at some point of our life to the barn potato. If you want to go full barn potato, you can, you know, do the hood up as well. And um, you just spend your life mucking out your horse, um, cleaning them, them being dirty and rolling again. And basically, pretty much just doing cleaning and riding like a potato, which is pretty much my discipline not of choice but the life that's chosen me so yeah bomb potato part of me wants to be her but then part of me wants to be her but then part of me wants to be her and then part of me wants to be her all right everybody i hope you enjoyed that little video of me in all my different outfits it just goes to show that with social media and things like this especially with tiktok you don't need fancy cameras or anything like that like i literally started youtube on my phone editing on my phone and then gradually like as i 
needed to learn how to edit a little bit more. I just, you know, learned everything just by watching tutorials on YouTube. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed making these videos. Let me know if you want me to do another video like this, maybe making some more TikToks. I don't know, I've got a few ideas up my sleeve. So yeah, um, again, apologies about um, the copyright issues where I've had to do the singing and the talking myself. Um, I don't know if <laughs> I'll, when I do the voiceover later when I do the singing, if I'll do the um, sometimes, I want to be her, but I don't know if I'll do it in an American accent because I don't know if I'll offend anybody, so um, I'll try and do an American accent. Americans, rate me in the comments below. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe it really does help me out. Be sure to check out my TikTok as well. But anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!